Welcome to another fight of the century. The first participant enters the ring. It's the Megalodon. This shark lived 23 to 3 million years ago. And right now, it holds the title of the ultimate hunter of all times. The second fighter is in the ring. And it's the Dunkleosteus. It lived around 350 to 380 million years ago and was the largest fish of that time. These creatures swam all over the world and aroused fear with their armored heads and mighty jaws. We're going to compare our fighters in several categories. In each of them, the winner will get one point. In the final round, these two sea monsters will face each other for the last time. And we'll find out who the real king of the sea world is. Grab your popcorn and hot dogs, it's time for round one. Size These days, the largest white sharks grow to be 20 feet long. The megalodon was more than twice that size, up to 50 feet. That's almost as long as a tennis court. The ancient shark's single fin was larger than the average person. The shark's jaws were more than 6 feet wide. It would mean you could comfortably sprawl out inside the creature's mouth. At the same time, you wouldn't want to get anywhere near a shark the size of a big truck. And the meg might have been even bigger. The only remains of the ancient shark are its teeth and vertebrae. That's why scientists can only guess what its true size was. Now to the next fighter! Some species of Dunkleosteus were only 3 feet long, but the largest ones could reach almost 29 feet. This school bus-sized fish was one of the largest of its time and much bigger than many modern sharks. But the megalodon is almost twice its size. So in this round, the meg gets its first point and opens the score one to nothing. Moving on to the next category, and that's weight. Wait, what are we waiting for? Oh, you mean weight. The largest white shark can weigh as much as a small car. In this case, the meg might be compared to two loaded cement trucks, 60 tons. An empty Boeing 737 weighs less than the ancient super shark did. If you wanted to lift the meg in the air, it would take as many as three CH-54 cargo helicopters. The heaviest part of the Dunkleosteus was its head because of its massive bones, and its length could be more than one foot. The ancient fish weighed almost as much as an adult elephant. It was also four times heavier than most modern sharks, with a total weight of four tons. And still, the megalodon is more than ten times heavier than the Dunkleosteus. Another clear victory in this round. Two to nothing. The next category is agility. How about a treadmill test for the meg? Its top speed was 11 miles per hour. It seems rather low, but no wonder. It was hard for the shark to move its body huge and bulky. For comparison, much smaller modern white sharks can travel at 34 miles per hour. The fastest human can swim at almost 5 miles per hour, which means people wouldn't be able to escape from the megalodon in the water. But the ancient shark had trouble turning. Its mobility could be compared to a large cargo plane in the sky. The Dunkleosteus, with all that heavy armor on its head, had perfect protection from all kinds of enemies. That's why it didn't need to be a good swimmer to get away from danger. Besides, it was the biggest fish in the ocean, meaning it had nothing to be afraid of. Still, the creature was smaller than the Meg. Its relatively compact size, plus agile lower fins and strong tail, made the Dunkleosteus speedier than the ancient shark. So, in this round, Dunn gets its first point. The score is 2-1 to one in favor of the Megalodon. Let's move on! Now we'll see what our participants can use to fight each other. Round 4. Fighting Tools the Meg's teeth were almost as long as your forearm, some of the largest teeth that ever existed. They were triangular in shape and razor sharp to pierce through whales' thick skin. The shark had five rows of teeth with around 50 teeth in each row, 250 in total. Do the math! The Meg also had its teeth changed throughout its life. Researchers still find the ancient shark's teeth at the bottom of the ocean. 
the Dunkleosteus had no teeth whatsoever. Its jaws were formed from long bony plates. They were incredibly sharp and shaped into long slicing edges. The coolest thing was that these edges could self-sharpen. The fish's jaw muscles were incredibly strong. They allowed the creature to open its mouth in 20 milliseconds. Time it. With a jaw like that, Dunn had one of the most powerful bites on Earth. Its strength can be compared to that of the Mississippian alligator. For its surprisingly hefty bite, Dunkleosteus gets another point. The score becomes tied at 2-2. Two to two. Now, let's see which of our contestants is more popular. The Meg is the most famous shark in the world. It's appeared not only in many movies and comics, but also in Fisher stories all over this planet. Every time someone saw a large shadow lurking near their boat, they were afraid they'd see the biggest shark on Earth. Some people think that megalodons are still alive. They're simply hiding somewhere deep under the surface, for example, in the Mariana Trench. But to feed such a large body, the shark would have to eat constantly, like me. And if this myth was true, you'd definitely see a megalodon close to the surface one day. But it's never happened, so you can sleep easy. Even though the Dunkleosteus isn't that well known, it still deserves respect. It lived earlier than the first dinosaurs and was the largest predator of its time. When archaeologists first found the remains of the Dunkleosteus, they were shocked. They called the creature the terrible fish and only gave it a scientific name years later. Well, even though this round doesn't change the count, the Megalodon gets its People's Choice Award. And now, the final stage, fighting skills. The Megalodon has the title of one of the best hunters ever. Scientists have been able to figure out the ancient shark's hunting tactics. They learned that these creatures somehow knew where their opponent's vulnerable spots were. They hit vital organs and were quick to disable their enemies. Sometimes these ancient sharks would also aim at the fins of larger sea creatures to immobilize them. It left the bigger opponents defenseless and unprotected. Another tactic the Meg used was a battering ram approach. The massive shark would crash into a whale, leaving it with no chance to escape. In other words, intellect and strategy were the Megalodon's most important skills. At that time, the Meg was the largest shark in the world. But in the oceans, there were creatures much larger than that. For example, whales. And the Meg didn't always have the courage to charge them. As for the Dunkleosteus, its trump card was its powerful jaws. Usually, the fish would swim toward a smaller animal. Then, in a split second, it would open its huge mouth, and the future meal would be pulled inside along with water. As the creature matured, its jaw shape changed. That's why, after being born, it could feed only on large, soft fish. But as it aged, it got the ability to bite through tougher stuff. And later in life, the Dunkleosteus began to munch on sea creatures with hard shells, or basically any sea animal that existed at that time. Anyway, it's up to you to decide who gets the point this time. Do you hear the sound of the gong? It means it's time for our sea monsters to meet face to face. They run into each other in the vast waters of the ocean. The Megalodon is the first to notice its opponent. The shark wants to use its battering ram approach against the Dunkleosteus's powerful armor, so it begins to speed up. But Dunn dodges and avoids the collision. As the Meg turns around, the Dunkleosteus gets a chance to grab the shark by the tail. In a split second, its powerful jaws close on the shark's fin. But the fish's bony plates are too short to bite through the Meg's thick skin. The Megalodon begins to twist and wag its powerful tail to throw the Dunkleosteus off its body. It looks like a rodeo. Dunn gets a powerful slap and is left stunned for a moment. The Megalodon uses this time to turn around. A couple of seconds later, the massive shark opens its huge jaw and ends the fight with one bite. 
So today, the Megalodon proves once again that it's worthy of its title as the best hunter of the sea world. The ancient shark continues its wanderings in search of a stronger opponent. Stay tuned!